Hi, this is Andy Amtreddy. So we've been looking at building a new box over the last few weeks. Um, it's based on a design that we picked up from Ian Munro with some of his help. That's Happy Droid, those of you who know him. Um, and Jason Clowes has recently helped us to refine that program a little bit and make it into a nice simple box um, that we've coded and start to build. So it's based around an FM uh, tuner. So basically the FM tuner, I've been quite specific in the frequencies it tunes, tunes between. So it tunes between 87.8 megahertz and 108 megahertz. So that's the full FM band, regardless of whether you're in the States, Europe, or uh, in the UK itself. So we've got uh, volume and uh, sweep rate, and then we've got the FM display. So the FM display displays in megahertz. So you're probably going to make a few tweaks with the box, um, but leave us your comments um, about what you think about how it performs and about some of the features we'll explain in a moment. But we probably move the battery pack to the top for starters, or try and make it an internal battery pack. Um, so we've got this echo chamber or frequency or response trap as we're uh, calling it. So the idea is to try and uh, trap some of the frequencies in that tube and get them to resonate and get some of the responses sounding out. Um, we'll show you how that works in a moment uh, and you can tell us whether or not you like it or whether you think it'd be better with a traditional speaker. So as we say, we've tried to keep the box basic. At the minute it's got a, just a couple of bits of wire and like a dipole for an antenna. So you can power the box on, just make sure it's turned down to start with. So you can hear that scanning. So as we approach Radio 1 in the UK, in the Midlands, I'll just reduce that. So you can hear that sweep through Radio 1 itself. So you can hear that sweeping away and we'll just speed up. So if I put my hand and cap the tube, you'll hear that the uh, high frequency is cut. So we're looking at creating a cap for the tube. So it actually starts to resonate and cut out some of the high fil range filters. That's like a high range filter, sorry. So if we turn that right up. Also, if we turn it down a little bit, you'll start to hear the high ranges come back in. Those of you who have been following our channel for quite a while or you've been looking at our social media pages or seeing our equipment that's been on TV recently or in a lot of the the online shows on social media you know that our, our traditional boxes we've been recently building have a clean sweep uh, a queen clean sweep feature which basically means that they go through the FM channels um, which are stored and it gets rid of all the hiss etc um, a lot of the die-hard paranormal fans out there and hardcore paranormal investigators are asked for us to build a box with the hiss and noise. So uh, basically this is it. It's built around an Arduino radio and uh, a controller. So uh, it's coded to perform like this with the volume and the sweep rate. So... Uh, We'll be sharing this video obviously via our YouTube channel, so we'd appreciate if you could share this to your groups, friends, colleagues, uh, and via your social media, and ask ask your friends to uh, subscribe to us. It's uh, be much appreciated, and um, for them to share this channel, whichever uh, form of social media they find it on. So, uh, finished by uh, wishing you a happy 2020. If you are. Uh, don't know the uh, address to our website, uh, our online ghost hunting store, 
or you can find it at www.infraready.co.uk.